Hello and welcome to a new garage your dad. Today I'm going to show you my Renault traffic van come day van. I bought this van about a year and a half ago just after the first lockdown because just before that lockdown I sold my pre previous Vivaro van and I regretted it ever since. Um, through my work I need a van but I also need a vehicle that I can use to because I go mountain biking, walking, kayaking with the boys, do quite a lot and also with my work um, I can travel you know, up to about 100 miles and sometimes I'll, I'll stay out overnight and I'll go walking the following day so it's great for that um, it's also great you know as a van for moving things around and carrying my ladders and all my bits and bobs of car parts all this sort of thing and uh, I've got the traffic or the Vivaro because I tend to find that they're very reliable and I love the driving position in, in them as well and the other thing is that they're very easy to work on, easy to maintain, cheap to maintain uh, they're good to drive and they don't rust you know like a lot of the transits you'll rarely see a transit even on the road of this age um, nowadays but um, we'll have a wee look around it um, I've just washed it and it's shown up a lot of surface marks because I was getting a row from Harry at Diamond Detailing for washing it with a brush so hopefully next week he's going to come over and I'm going to film him uh, he's going to give it a machine polish and a ceramic coat whatever that is I've no idea I've never done anything like that before I just kind of keep them clean with a brush and a sponge so I'm going to get that done next week but we'll have a little look around it and I'll show you you know what I've done to the inside to convert it so it's actually the traffic sport model and I got the Sport because it's got all the extras, it's got the colour coded bumpers the fog lights and I put these little eyebrows on the, the headlamps because when you look at it from the front it's got massive headlamps and that just sort of gives it a slightly different look and I prefer the front of these as opposed to the Vivaro because they've just got this chrome stripe in them which I quite like I've got a full set of BMW MV1 alloys which bolts straight on and you need them um, what they call wobble bolts because it, there's a two millimeter difference in the PCD on these to the standard Vauxhall but they just go straight on there's no problem I've got all new brake brake discs and uh, brake pads I've done quite a lot of work underneath as you know from a couple of other videos you can see it's a Renault Sport but it's quite a clean van and the black is quite rare and the reason I got a van this colour is that um, when you camp out in it it just doesn't stand out as much as like say, a white one which looks like a sort of van man van or a silver which my previous one was but you can see here there's one or two little scuffs in it I don't know if you can see that but Harry assures me that, that they're going to buff out And it's got some nice subtle um, side skirts on it. I think you call them side skirts. I quite like these ones. I don't like the chrome ones. They're a bit sort of blingy for me. And a little look inside now. Macapaca there, who keeps an eye on the blind spot when I'm reversing. I keep it very tidy inside. And I like these seats. They're quite comfortable. And on a long journey, I mean, I've travelled the way down to Cornwall in this. And over 10 hours, I was... You know, I'm normally troubled by a sore back in vehicles, but after 10 hours I was fine in this, which I'm quite pleased about. So in the back here, I've got this table that sort of folds up and down. I've unfortunately broken a bracket on it, which I'll have to sort. But I managed to access these um, chairs on eBay, and I replaced the one in the front uh, with the one I bought and put the front one in the back here it's only got one belt on but I don't actually use it for putting anybody in going down the road it's just for sitting in you know having my um, my lunch when I'm out in jobs that kind of thing but in the back I can store all my my ladders and my boxes for my graphics business and I can keep them permanently in here at the same time the bed is put across the ways, uh, transverse I think you'll call it and I'm six foot and I fit in fine in the back there and I'll show you in a minute how I've uh, constructed that it's quite clever and the whole van is insulated it's also carpeted out inside the very 
first one I done. It was part done when I got it and I just sort of finished it off and it's quite easy to do actually. The worst bit's getting the insulation in. As you can see, I can get all my ladders and tools and tables and everything in here and I just keep them permanently in. And I also keep the, perma the bed permanently up as well. And it's on a metal frame, as you can see under there, and about 18 mil plywood. And there's brackets, there's four brackets bolted in on the corners here and it just sits on these brackets so I can actually take the whole thing out if I want to use it as a van. I think it's quite a clever idea because if you have a rock and roll bed in these things the rock and roll bed just takes up all the room in the back of the van yeah you've got a couple of seats but this way I can keep the bed in and I can keep my tools in it and I can go away in, in a moment's notice and stay out overnight. You've got great vision all around because they've got quite quite large windows and I find that the transits have got just tiny little windows in the side and with the little window in the back here it's actually really good for reversing because you can see out both sides which is great and it's a nice vehicle to drive and the controls are very basic it's got aircon in it this one and a basic sort of stereo but that's all you need that's all I need when I'm going down the road anyway so I'm really happy with it inside as well but I've got two nasty little kinks on the door here which uh, I didn't touch myself I'll probably have to get a dent guy to take them out and I'm not a fan of these window window deflectors but these ones are actually really good um, although the van's got aircon, you don't really need it. I find that I quite like driving with the window down, and with these on, it really does quieten it down when you're on the road. I quite like it. I've got my private reg in it as well, so you can't sort of tell the year it, that it is, but it is a 2011. Although I do graphics for a living, I never actually put my name on the on the van because I'm far too busy anyway. But I put these nice tasteful looking Renault Sport graphics on it. There's one in the bonnet. There's one right along the side. And I like the yellow colour with the grey on the black. And one on the back. The only thing I find with long wheelbase is that um, I've always been used to a short wheelbase van and occasionally I catch the back left wheel with a, on a kerb which is really annoying because these alloys were just recently powder coated and I've gone and chipped it all around here so I'll have to get that buffed down and cleaned so we'll have a look in the engine bay here so you've got your oil filler you've got your screen wash and your dipsticks down here but I find this uh, really easy to service and the air filter is just four screws and it's right at the front here and to do the diesel, it's one of the easiest diesel filters I've done. You just unscrew this bolt, it just comes out, put the new one in, you slacken off the bleed valve, and you just pump it to prime it again, and that's it. It's really easy, and it just fires up first time. The oil filter is just right down, and it's literally right at the front. You've got to take the cover off, but it's literally right there, and it comes off easily, and you put the new one on. But it does, it does take about seven and a half litres of oil, which is quite a lot. But uh, like any vehicle, you just keep changing oil and it'll, if you look after it, it'll look after you. But I know that some of these suffer from the old injector problem. And what it is, is the water gets down behind here and then leaks through and drips down into the top of the engine. But this one's well sealed in here and the water doesn't ingress at all. But uh, it's really maintenance free you know this van I, I, I really like it to work on and it's really easy to work on and it's just ultra reliable which ultra reliable <laughs> so there you have it my Renault traffic I'm really pleased with the van 
and it's a 2011 but you wouldn't think it to look at it and with a private reg on it you wouldn't you wouldn't really know and also price wise you know if you try to get a 2011 Volkswagen it'd be double the price and to be honest you're not getting double the van this is a I would imagine this is a lot cheaper to run I would say easier to maintain as well and probably just as good to drive it's only 115 brake it's not fast but I don't think you want to be driving quick in these sort of vehicles anyway you know it can it'll do 90 on the on the, the motorway you know but you're not supposed to you know it'll cruise along all day at 70 and as I said I've been all the way down to Cornwall in it and uh, that was a great run and uh, it's really it was really comfortable all the way and with it being the Renault Sport it's got all the extras on it as well which make it you know just a slightly a bit sort of less van like if you if you know what I mean so as usual if you like the video thumbs up please subscribe there'll be more videos coming along very soon